Hello, breakout educators. I am here to introduce to you Kryptonite, which is meant to be a fifth grade breakout game um, focusing on fractions. And we're simplifying, we're doing prime factorization, we're comparing fractions, and I can't remember what else, but I'll put it on the sheet. The one thing that saves my life is a visual planner. So on this is one of the documents that I'll have in the folder, and on the front it just shows you everything that you need to lay out and how it relates to each other, if that makes sense. On the second page of this document, it has everything that you have to set up ahead of time. So for example, my Erasma, you should use, be able to use just fine as long as you can print out this QR code and it works. This QR code um, has you subscribe to my Erasma channel. And then once you've done that, when they have the puzzle put all together and they scan it, they'll be able to see the um, directional code clue, which literally is a video of somebody opening the directional lock. I figured I'd give that one to them since they have to do so much for the other ones. Um, but the inventory list in this document is everything that you need to set up ahead of time before you're ready to go. Um, and hopefully there are enough directions on there on how to do different things. I'm going to skip to the third page, which is setting up the classroom once the materials are prepped. So I just go down the line. Um, the first thing that you're going to do is grab a student iPad, or in this case, I'm using mine because I'm traveling from classroom to classroom, and I can't show you this because I'm using mine to record. Uh, but I set the lock screen as a secret message that says, top secret, 2952. But they have to break into my iPad in order to do it. So I reset the passcode to 5943. Um, I put the candy, which is the teacher's pick tonight. I mean, it's the only thing we can really bring to school. There's harder stuff than that, as we all know. Inside the box, and you're going to use three different locks for this. The directional code lock, which is going to be an easy clue for them to figure out. The um, four-digit code, which is going to be the lock screen of the iPad, and then they need a key. Let's see here. The key, I hide on page 888 of a dictionary, which might be hard to find one of these around. It was hard for me to. And um, it's hidden inside there, and I usually put it where other books are. How they find the key is interesting. So it starts off with a hidden picture clue. I included the website um, on where we found that to create our hidden picture clue. And some kids can see it. Some kids can't. So what I do is really, really lightly on the bottom is I write the Nearpod code on the bottom lightly. So I'll let them struggle with this for just like 30 seconds, and honestly, if they can't find it, I don't want them to hold it back. Um, and then I'll tell them what the Nearpod uh, login code is. So this is what they use to log into Nearpod. And on Nearpod is a quiz that they're taking. It's like 10 to 12 questions about prime factorization and comparing fractions. When somebody in the class gets that 100% correct, they unlock this code, which I give to them, and they scan the QR um, code. And then they're taken to what we're calling our subliminal message, which is really a video of something with fractions and decimals. But the kids recorded themselves giving clues about a book that has a lot of words and blah, blah, blah. And like a minute in, they, found that they find out they have to look in a dictionary. And at a minute 30 seconds, they realize they have to look on page 888. So that's a fun clue. Then the last one would be finding the code for this guy. I have hidden message math problems hidden out. I just spread them out around the room. And um, as they solve these, they get directions. So somebody on Facebook, and I wish I knew who right now, she said um, how she used arrows and stars to unlock a and locked iPad. So that's basically where I got the inspiration for this. Order is important. So these are spread out all over the place. They have to solve all the problems. And then once they solve all the problems and they put them in order, they're going to get over arrows and down arrows and stars. And that will help them, uh oh, I have a student coming in. Oh. That will help them figure out what the iPad unlock code is, is which is the five, four, or five, nine, four, three. Once they do that, they really quickly figure out, oh, I actually have to use two, nine, five, two on this, and then they break out. Um, I will put everything in my folder and share with you. If you have any questions, please email me. Good luck with Kryptonite.